Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. What is the worst cheating story you have heard of or experienced? I married my high school sweetheart, dated three years married for two but turns out she's a lesbian and cheated on me the whole time, divorced me took the house and most of the pets and her girlfriend moved in the day after I moved out. How do you feel about that? A friend of mine told me how his first girlfriend cheated on him. They spent almost three years together. In the last year they spent less and less time together because she was working a lot and he understood her. One evening he was cycling in the park and saw his friend's car. He walked closer to the car to say hello and saw a girl sitting next to him. A bad feeling pierced his heart and he decided to call his girlfriend. And the bad feeling was confirmed. The girl got out of the car to answer the call. That meant the end. Me and my friends played Monopoly and I decided to go to the toilet. I came back and realized that dumb MF cheated and stole some of my money. Nobody admits it and the mystery still remains to this day. Experienced, my first ex cheated on me with my best friend. After we started dating he suddenly showed interest in her, she liked him and tried to deny it, but it was no use, few weeks later she was cheating on me and I noticed when she acted strange, she left open her FB on my phone and that's when I read some of her messages between her and one of her friends. The ones with her friend were even more detailed, saying what she did and how she didn't care if she was doing it, even mocking me. I was kind of afraid of confronting her because she loved making herself the victim and tried to find a way to break up with her. She even called me by my first name that the other guy and I shared and not by my preferred name. Even one of the last times we kissed, it felt weird, felt like that wasn't meant for me, she was thinking of the other guy and that kiss stole something from me, I've never felt the same since then. She broke up with me after New Year's Eve, the same day she went to meet two friends she barely knew, she had a threesome with them and broke after she had her way. She started dating my friend and put it on her FB profile on my birthday, even when this idiot wasn't even in the country because he was on an exchange program in Canada for six months. He returned after that time and she was already living on her own after her sister kicked her out of their parents' house. Then I heard from another friend that she was crying and making drama over FB and Twitter because he cheated on her with his previous GF which was already his fiance before he cheated with her. Told her who knows what and that he regretted everything and didn't want to see her again. Basically he did it to spite me. Damn that is messed up. I guess the good thing about this is that you are free of her. Yeah I think so, I had already asked her if she wanted to marry me, all that was 10 years ago. This might be a long one, but I'll try to keep it as short as I can. I started dating this girl right after high school, and by all accounts we had the perfect relationship. Both of us were professionals in our field of study and both wanted the same things out of life. Her parents loved me, everything was great. After 5 years of dating she kept asking over and over when we would get married, not a day went by when she didn't ask me, over and over again she would ask. When are you going to propose? When are we getting married? Like a broken record. A year later we were married in a vineyard, my high school best friends as my best man, and another good friend as our officiant. We took our honeymoon on a remote tropical island for 2 weeks, and when we got home, things started to change. My best friend went missing for a few days. When he returned he told his wife and his dad that he had been carrying on a string of affairs and he just needed to confess. A few days later my wife went missing, refused to talk to me. I drove over to my friend's house. And she was there. I blew up and demanded to know how long it had been going on for. He just said a while. I later found out that it had been going in for a little over two years. Even before she was begging for us to get married. My best friend, as my best man, stood by my side with a straight face as I preached my undying love to this woman in front of all our friends and family. I packed all my things and I moved to a different state. 
for a short while I tried to reconcile with her, but never did. I started dating another girl. We had a big house, four bedrooms, just the two of us. So when her best friend had a tragedy we let her and her boyfriend move in with us. Myself and the guy she was dating became fast friends we'll call him John. John eventually broke up with his girlfriend and she moved away. John hardly had his life in order. His day was pretty much wake up, smoke weed, maybe go to work at his part-time cook gig down the road. He tried to move out a few times but each time he had a lot of trouble, and I always let him move back in. After 4 years myself and my girlfriend got engaged and life was good again. Until things went bad. She started smoking weed all the time, which in general I don't have a problem with, so long as it's not your whole life. She started lying to me, all the time. I worked a swing shift at a hospital around this time and I decided to set a trap. I took an old cell phone, plugged it in and hid with the recorder running. I was right, my new best friend and my fiancé were cheating. I kicked them both out. A month later they were best man and maid of honor in my brother's wedding. Never spoke to any of them ever again. I don't even know what to say. How long ago was this? The last relationship ended about 5 years ago. Oh, have you recovered a little bit? I have my current lady and I own a nice house in a gated community with our three dogs. Things are pretty good at the moment. It's good you're not letting those four drag you down. I bet they are doing terribly now. My ex-wife reached out to me recently. She married my friend, had two kids with him, and is now in a bitter divorce because, well he was always cheating on her. Overall she's pretty miserable. Don't know how he's doing. My other ex, I have no contact with at all and I really have no idea how they are. Last I knew the moved to Texas to live with her sister. LOL. Karma. She reached out to you because she thought you would comfort her. Probably, or maybe to see if I had another friend. Plot twist, my best friend is a woman now, so no luck for her there. Unless she is secretly bisexual. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.